Hello my loves, it's Liz Ann here from High Vibes Life, helping you make the rest of your life the best of your life. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So you finally got to a place where you don't care what anybody thinks about you. You check your social media, you don't even think about it. What other people think about you is none of your business. I wish it was that easy. So why do we care about what other people think about us? Why is it something that can be so persistent? Well, I can say if you are one of those that have a, a difficulty overcoming in this area and you also have had a difficult childhood, you've had divorce, you had dysfunction, there was abuse, anything like that, that that really goes hand in hand. Usually people that have been brought up in these type of environments are constantly looking outside of themselves to figure out who they are and to figure out what they're supposed to be because that's what they did as a child. What do I need to be to keep my parents from abusing me? Or what do I need to be to get my parents' attention? So they were constantly focused on trying to be something that they truly weren't at their core because who they were at their core felt so neglected, abused, or denied um, emotional support. A child cannot survive without a parent. And so its whole survival is dependent upon having that parent's attention and being able to connect with those parents. So now let's fast forward to today and have a little bit of compassion on ourselves. So now we are constantly thinking about, worrying about what other people think about us. Does that mean that we're just doomed to this now and that we're just gonna have to go our entire lives wondering what other people think about us? Absolutely not. The trick is turning all these tools around to work for you rather than against you. To try to repress what other people think about you when you really do care and just trying to shove that down and not care, that's actually trying to shove down and repress, again, a, another aspect of you. What is actually happening when you are trying to get behind the eyes of somebody else to see what they think about you, it is an aspect of you trying to understand yourself better. It's basically you trying to get to know you. And so instead of running away from that or trying to ignore that, turn around and face that and ask some powerful questions. Asking yourself the question, what do I believe they think about me, is going to be key to understanding what you really believe and think about you. So go into the question. Make a list, get a piece of paper out and just make a list of each person that you worry about what they think about you, each person or group of people. Usually in a group of people, there are one or two that really stand out that sometimes you feel like are going to influence the rest of the group on how to think about you. So pick out the ones that you really have a difficult time worrying about what they think about you and putting that aside. Write their names down on this piece of paper and beside their names, write down what you believe they think about you. What it is that bothers you. So some examples might be, they think I'm weird. They think I'm fat. They think I'm stupid. Those type of things. Uh, um, they think that I'm lazy and I'm no good or they think I don't know how to do things right. Whatever it is, just write those statements down next to their name. Then after that, I want you to go through and notice the patterns that you see. So maybe you have 10 people listed and five out of that 10 you have the same, they think I'm weird, written down. So no, just take notice of those patterns because they're gonna be very telling. And then I want you to go back through and ask yourself on each one, do I believe this about me? Do I think this about me? And then the third thing you'll do is you'll go back over that and you'll ask yourself, well, is it true? So is it true that I'm weird? Is it true that I'm strange? And you might look at that and go, well, yeah, I think it is. I really believe it is true. Yeah, I do think I'm a little different and a little strange and I can't find people that kind of like the same things that I like. 
So then after you establish of whether it's true or not, you might establish, no, it's not true. And that's a good thing too. But either way, it doesn't matter. Because once you establish, okay, yeah, I actually do believe I'm kind of weird. Then ask yourself, well, why is that wrong? Is there anything wrong? Does that mean I'm unworthy of love? Does that mean I'm unworthy to be here in this world and to take up space? And the truth of the matter is no. And especially when it comes to that you're weird or different because the fact of the matter is there are no two snowflakes that are exactly alike. So another example might be they think I'm fat and therefore they think I'm lazy. So then you would ask yourself that, well, do I think I'm fat and therefore think I'm lazy? And you might say, well, yeah, I do think I'm fat, but I don't really think I'm lazy. I work a lot. I'm very tired. You know, I really work a lot. So is it true? Are you fat and are you lazy? And the fact of the matter is, well, yeah, I believe I'm overweight, but I don't believe I'm lazy. Does that make me a bad person? Does that make me unworthy of love? Why am I overweight? You'll find that there's a lot of reasons for that. And the fact of the matter, most of us don't really know. We start to believe things like, oh, it's because I constantly eat, I overeat. And when we start telling ourselves and believing that, then we do it more because we are bringing in that law of attraction aspect of it and being that thing that we are believing at a core level about ourselves that might not be true at all. It might be just that uh, we haven't found the diet that suits us or we have a thyroid issue or you know there's something else going on that has nothing to do with what we do and don't eat. I for one have tried many 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 different types of diets and have not found something that works for me yet to lose the weight that I want to lose. Does that make me unlovable? Does that make me somebody that I cannot respect? Another way that, that I was able to kind of overcome the whole idea is that you can't be loved or respected or liked because you have excess fat on your stomach is I started thinking about famous people and people that I admire and uh, appreciate that were even sometimes a lot heavier than me and how that their weight does not play a factor in how I look at them and the respect that I have for them. And that helped me to erase the idea that I am not worthy of love and respect simply because I have excess weight on me. So now you know where these projections are coming from. Now it's time to get back in your center and ask yourself, well, what do I think about them? Now that I understand and I've cleared out the projections and I understand where a lot of it's coming from and perhaps maybe some of them do feel that way about me. But right now I want to ask myself a different question. I want to ask what do I think about them and write this down and write this thoroughly. What do you think about them? Then the next thing you want to ask yourself is how do I feel when I'm around that person and why? So perhaps when you're around this person, you do start to feel a little more, you know, embarrassed about your weight or you do start to feel a little more strange. Why? Why do you think it is when you're around this person that you feel this way? Once you've deciphered that, it's time for you to decide whether this person is a toxic person for your life or a beneficial person in your life and whether or not to send this person on their way. And the best way to send somebody on their way energetically, especially if you can't completely just remove them from your life, is to energetically put them in a boat and send them down the river into the ocean and just watch them, mentally watch them disappear into the sunset. Send them with a blessing and let them go into the ocean and out into the sunset. Energetically release them. Release them to be in their life, to be blessed by their life, to think what they want to think, to have the opinions that they want to have, and to work through all those for their life's journey. That was my washing machine. It sounded like it got a little bit out of balance. <laughs> ba boom, ba boom, it's time to release them. Love it, right? Now this is something that you might sit down and try to do all in one sitting, which is good. We can do that. We can spend a couple hours, but it is also something you'll want for your toolbox to get back into. So when you start noticing that you're being bothered a lot about somebody's opinion of you, you can pull this out and do this exercise and kind of work through it so that you can let it go. 
So to help you out with that, I created a PDF worksheet for you and I'm going to leave a link for that down in the description. So I hope this has been a helpful video for you. I hope it is a real pivotal place that you come to this video and that you start being able to get past the icky, icky feelings of worrying about what other people feel about you and start recognizing that when that happens, that's just an opportunity for you to discover more about yourself and to empower yourself in a greater way. Have a good day.